name is Sid Chidiak. I was born in Sydney, Australia at age of five. Uh, my family moved to Lebanon. I grew up next to the Khalil Gibran Museum. When I was 16, I moved back to Sydney, Australia. Well, I've always liked art. The art that's always in my system. I've always enjoyed looking at art and put my hand on art, but I'm always interested in new roads. I don't want to follow anybody. I want people to follow me, basically. Well, I went to study in Sydney, and when I finished study, I was working to support myself at the hotels in Sydney, and a chef was asking me to help him to create sculpture in chocolate. So he made me a little uh, slab of chocolate, and I did the sunflowers. Um, and when I was looking at it, that temptation, it was either I want to chew on it or keep it for my eyes to look at it. Then I said to myself, this is my subject it's going to be when I go to New York, back to New York. Sometimes children will be watching me like, mom, he's licking his brush. It's like, what's going on here? If they don't realize I'm painting with chocolate. I was exhibiting Kuwait City and they lost Marilyn portrait. And when I got Marilyn at JFK, me and my friend went there and I was like devastated. One of the beautiful portraits got ruined, but we couldn't throw in the trash there, so we ate Marilyn, me and my friend. <laughs> like we at the airport, they look at us if we're crazy. It's like, what are they doing? They're eating the painting. Uh, Marilyn tasted beautiful and Belgium chocolate. Uh, I want my painting to speak. I want my work to represent me, to let the human eyes uh, grab or let the painting gra grab the human eyes, you've got to put all the effort into that painting. Sometimes I don't breathe when I do little details. I hold my breath to, to make it right. And I would never be satisfied until I uh, look at the painting and I feel like that's enough. The beginning of any painting, it is very hard for me. And I start to begin painting and begin painting layer on top of each layer and when halfway through I start to see something it's coming along at the front of you and I start to believe in me, I can do it. I don't want to listen to those bad voices inside me and when the painting finish it's like I'm, I won. I keep on the light side, on the happy side, on the bright side all the time. Negative is like dust falling on you. You've got to keep off your shoulder all the time. And I need to continue to focus on the positive. I'm connected with my soul. I feel my soul talks to me all the time. And uh, when I do something, I feel like I'm achieving something when I help other people. It doesn't have to be money, even if you help somebody cross the road or do something for someone. Because of my work and what I've achieved, the painting gave me a lot in life and I want to give it back in a positive way, the way it's coming you know, positive toward me and helping other in charity, that makes me happy. I'm struggling, not struggling, but I'm in between the oil and the chocolate and I keep telling myself I need to give up on the chocolate, but every time I tell myself something more bigger would come toward me and people drag me toward the chocolate and I'm trying to push toward the oil more than the chocolate and it's always going to be that struggle between the two of them. This is your life, you've got the key for your life yourself. Uh, this is totally up to you. Uh, you. You can do it, no one else can do it but yourself. You've got to believe in yourself. There's a fire inside you. If you focus on positive and positive energy and on yourself, you can make it no matter how hard it is.